Hi, I'm Daniel Sellers, and I'm going to talk with you about vacuum airship design with finite element analysis. Modern airships float by enclosing helium, a lighter-than-air gas, in order to become buoyant. But what if we could enclose a vacuum instead? So an obvious issue with this idea that immediately comes to mind is that while helium can exert outward pressure, a vacuum cannot, and so the craft would collapse. I'll draw your attention to our methods section, where we envision a design with strong inflatable support tubes and a fabric shell membrane over those support tubes to separate vacuum internally from atmospheric pressure externally. And so our research objective is to answer the question, would the peak stress inside this fabric shell be less than the tensile strength of existing aramid fiber textiles? Aramid fibers are best known as things like uh, Kevlar and Xylon, which are known for their high tensile strength to weight ratios. And so we get this highly non-uniform geometry from this fabric shell under atmospheric pressure, and so we elect to use the finite element method, which takes this complicated model and breaks it down into many small elements, which are used to generate a system of equations, or sparse matrix equation, for those who know linear algebra. And this system of equations can be solved to give an approximation for the stress within the fabric shell. And we use SolidWorks simulation uh, software, which is a commercially available software for carrying out finite element method studies. Uh, so I'll, I'll direct your attention to shell studies uh, here in the middle, our first results section. And we have these four models which are separated into normal meshing procedure and curvature-based meshing procedure. Curvature-based procedure would be to increase the resolution, the number of elements used in high curvature areas of the model. And for each of those procedures, we have both standard and fine mesh examples here. And we see along the peak stress along the bottom of this plot, uh, of this picture, that uh, it doesn't change greatly with slight changes in the mesh or the meshing procedure. And these could actually be even more dissimilar and we wouldn't be concerned because for mesh independence like we're illustrating here, we just want to see that the order of magnitude uh, of the results does not change when we change the mesh. So our next result is vacuum window deflection. So vacuum windows are commonly used in particle physics labs to separate uh, high pressure from low pressure while remaining as thin as possible. And so it happens that Brookhaven National Lab actually designed and built and tested some Kevlar vacuum windows in 1993. And so they're using Kevlar for a very similar application to what we're hoping to use it for. And so we're using some of their results to help and verify ours. Uh, so you'll see from these plots at the bottom, both have these solid curved lines, which represent theoretical predictions of window deflection versus atmospheric pressure. In the left-hand plot, the dots represent uh, predictions from our studies in SolidWorks simulation. And the dots on the right-hand side actually show test data from their designed and built Kevlar vacuum windows. And what we see in both cases is qualitative agreement with the theoretical prediction, meaning that our uh, models are capturing a lot of the relevant physics. So these two things taken together lend some validity to the model that we're using uh, and, and give us reason to trust that the peak stress results are actually valid. And so this heat map under our conclusion sections here shows how the stress is actually predicted to distribute within the fabric shell. And so all of these models predict uh, less than 1 times 10 to the 6 pascals, uh, even for very thin shells. And existing aramid fibers have tensile strengths typically of more than 1 times 10 to the 9 pascals. So, so far, these are encouraging results that we would be or orders of magnitude uh, lower uh, than, the, than the breaking stress would be. So future research is going to be focused on designing and modeling these inflatable support tubes that I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation uh, that will actually support the fabric shell. And uh, research for this is ongoing. It's proved to be difficult, but for some interesting reasons, and hopefully we'll be reporting on that uh, in the near future. So I'd like to thank Professor Ben McMorin for his patience and guidance uh, and material assistance in this project, which has been ongoing for some time. Thanks also to the Presidential Undergraduate Research Scholarship uh, for all of their amazing resources and support, as well as for funding this program, and to my lovely wife, Miranda. Thank you.